This conference so will now, now be recorded. Okay, so now I'm teaching you how okay. to use build parameter, how to use build parameters uh, in Jenkins job. Now, typically you can use anywhere. Uh, for example, let's say you want single job, single job, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to pass parameter, parameter from user, okay? Uh, okay? And this user parameter can be anything. For example, it can be, let's say, Maven goal, okay? It can be Gradle. We have a concept called tasks in it, okay? okay. Or ant target, okay? Or okay. maybe different environments, let's say, deploy a dot sh dev environment, or QA environment or production environment, something like that. You okay. want to pass the password. Uh, you want to pass the password. You want to pass the some file. Mm -hmm. So anything which you want to pass from the users, maybe okay. you can pass the uh, agent also, agent to build, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, yes. Or you can also pass the branch name also if you really want it. So many things which you want to configure it, you okay. can configure it, build parameters. Okay. So how can you do that? So this is the Jenkins and build param is one of the job I'm writing. Freestyle, click OK. Now, uh, this job, so you can build it as you want it. Uh, right now, I'm just focusing on this, this feature only, not other features. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are the parameters you can pass it? For example, this project is parameterized. So click on it here. And here, these are the parameters you can pass it. Boolean parameter. Okay. You can see the Boolean means true and false you can pass. If it is true, then build will happen. If it is false, build will not happen. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Okay. So, okay. okay. so here you can pass the choice parameter. Choice parameter means uh, Multiple choices will be given it to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pass the credential parameters. That means Jenkins store the credentials, right? So here yes. you can pass this credentials. Uh, if you go to the Jenkins here and manage Jenkins, and here credentials of uh, credentials, you manage credentials. So a lot of credentials you have, right? So yes, yes, yes. these you can pass it uh, here. Okay. And uh, you can also file pass. You can pass this. You can pass the multi line string parameters also. Means okay. strings with the multiple line. Password you can mm -hmm. pass some run parameter and string parameter. So let me okay. start with string parameter. Okay. So string parameter name what you want. So you can use any of these things for the hypothesis scenario. I'm using okay. goal here. The goal it can be compiled, which we use a lot or test or install, right? These are the Maven goal. So yeah. let's say I want to pass this goal, but you through the user. So what to do? So I'll write the variable name goal. It can be anything else also. Default value, let's pass it compile and each enter your Maven goal name. This is the description, okay? Now, if you want to really trim the string, you can trim this. It's up to you and uh, save it. Now, the moment you enable the build parameters, then mm -hmm. the build now to build with parameters will come. Mm -hmm. see that? So here you see the build. Now compile or you can pass test or pass install, whatever you want it to pass. Let's say you okay. want to pass some scripts. So you can do that. So now you can pass it. But the question is, okay, this is, we are passing it, but mm -hmm. uh, where to use it? So you have to use yes. this in this variables. This is the variable name. You have to yes. use in the somewhere in the build environment and goal or post build, post build. Okay. okay? Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. this is the variable name and I'm going for this one under the build section and you can use with conjunctions with anything. So like okay. right now I'm using the goal, so it will be appropriate to use with Maven. And here, instead of goal name here, I'm hard coding it, mm -hmm. compile. Here, what mm -hmm. I'm doing, dollar mm -hmm. curly braces, 
variable name closing braces so okay. this time it will be so maven required the goal name here you have to either give the goal name of maven right so here yes. whatever the user will insert on top it will be printed here so for example i am saving it this one and uh, build with parameters so right now i am passing compile and build it's empty job nothing will happen and uh, build you see the build got failed that's okay failure is okay but here you see we provide the user parameter was here parameter was with uh, compile right yes, yes. so maven yes. compile was passed so this command will fail because the source code is not provided but we wanted to just check that whether compile has come or not yes, so now yes. after that if i go to and change this so go to the configurations and uh, uh, let's make it one more thing so let's let's give some more value let's say rajesh here build and build number 2 let's go and check this here failure is okay but here you see maven rajesh mm -hmm. so that way we can control the user input if this job is configured correctly with the maven project this mm -hmm. goal will this by the way this is not Raj, rajesh is not a goal but i'm just mm -hmm. i'm showing you this is can be passed correct yes yes, yes. but the problem with this is like just like this compile is a right goal but rajesh is not a right goal actually so how do we control the user behavior that is a question because we don't want the users to pass wrong goal and ultimately build should fail so how do we do that so for that what i'm going to do uh, uh, configurations and here i'll go to the here and this string parameter i will delete this rather than what i am going for it is a like a list parameter where do we have it? Choice parameter. Choice. I'll go for choice file. So here I'll give same variable I'll declare, but here I'll give a choice. So user cannot select anything anything other than this. So compile or test or package or install. These are the valid Maven goals which we have. Okay. So here each select not enter select the right the right Maven goal, right? And then save it you can have the multiple parameters also but right now i'm just introducing only one so please select the right maven goal and here you want to select let's say package build go to the build number three it will fail because the project is not there but here you have a package yes. correct so right now yes. you're controlling the behavior of users and they will always uh, do the right things correct yes yes yeah so now uh, the the back to the question how to create a single job using a using a build parameters so what you can do is uh, let's say uh, first look, you must be having single project okay that's a uh, things you must be having it and a uh, single project maybe you are doing a build uh, uh, and then testing and then uh, deploying so something like that so for there is a script build.sh okay and here maybe you have a one script in your repository uh, tester.sh and maybe here you have a deploy.sh deploy.sh i'm just giving you hypothetical scenario so this okay. script will do the build this script will do the testing this script will do the deployment everything it can be ansible scripts also Testing here, it can be Selenium scripts also. Here it can be build uh, Maven or Gradle or whatever it is. So probably you have give, created a three shell scripting uh, in your environment and committed in the GitHub itself. Now what you are doing going to do, so here you are saying, hey, uh, let's do one thing. Let's uh, change this project. And let's say you are having some source code and uh, here what you are doing now. So here again, go for this and calling this build.sh mm -hmm. so this is script number one second build is test.sh or third script is deploy.sh okay so this is a something mm -hmm. like that you you did this or okay. something like this you did now instead of goal script this will be more meaningful and yes. here in the build section, what you are going to do, this Maven is not required. 
probably you're going to execute this shell and here dot dollar script okay. something like this okay. okay so script let me see that script yeah now it should call though it's, it will fail but i want that to in the log it should be calling it that's important yes. so here yes. i'll just say echo uh, script script is getting called and here echo script call is ended this is the one save it and build with parameter what do you want to do you want to call build.sh or let's yes. say test.sh and let's go for the build number four and this will be waiting for the script but it will fail because the source code is not there it, this is important you see a script is getting mm -hmm. called test.sh because i call for test and then it's trying to run in the source code there's no source code i checked it out but it's trying to run test.sh so mm -hmm. if you have a source code test.sh and you are checking out uh, through the uh, SEM that's uh, here, source code management, then it will start doing the build, right? Yes, yes. Got it? So yes, this is yes, a, yes. one of the way to automate. So again, the options can be plenty. Now look at the project, look at the pattern and how you, you find out, okay, you are doing the build test or deploy. What are the differences we have and created these three scripts and call these three scripts or it'll be easy. Uh, you don't have to dot sh, you can directly call bash, build, test, mm -hmm. and sh, and you can call it directly like that. So this is a script name, this is a script name, this is also a script name. So something like that. By the way, you can also add multiple uh, parameterized options actually. It's not only one, so you can add a more also. So here boolean you are adding, bool, and uh, save it. So two parameter I have added, you see here, uh, this is the bool means true. If you say true, if you don't say it will be false like that. So two two things can be added. And this uh, this uh, parameterized option, you can configure in the conditional executions. For example, if you go to the job and here you can say, for example, I'm just giving you logic, not writing except for that. If, if that value, the bool, which you set it up on top, uh, which is here, where is that? Yeah, bool. The name of the itself is a bool var. I should name it bool var. Okay, bool variable. So here, if a bool var is equal to true, okay, do this. And else, or if bool else something, I'm, I'm just giving you logic, not writing a shell scripting. Else, okay. do this. Something like that you can write. Yes, yes. Yeah. Getting ones. So this is the way you can use the param param parameterized options.